Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn how to bleach palm oil with chemicals. Bleaching of palm oil with fire might be a difficult task, especially if you are living in an apartment where there is no separate kitchen or a place where you can use firewood to cook. In such a circumstance, it is not advisable to bleach palm oil if you have any need for it. Palm oil is flammable and this process might lead to fire outbreak or pollution of the ambient air in your apartment. So today I am going to teach you how to conveniently bleach your palm oil using chemicals. The bleached palm oil can be used for cooking or making of soup if you are a soup maker. You need just four items for this process and they are sodium chloride, citric acid, hydrogen peroxide and iron spoon. So I am going to demonstrate this bleaching process using 500 meals of palm oil so my recipe is palm oil 500 meals sodium chloride one tablespoonful citric acid one tablespoonful hydrogen peroxide 200 meals and then you need an iron spoon a small sp spoon Okay, the hydrogen peroxide must be industrial grade type and not the one that is used in the laboratory or in the clinic. Now let's see the procedure for doing this bleaching. Number one, you have to heat the palm oil for about two minutes to make it hot. Heat the palm oil for about two minutes. Then pour it into a plastic bowl. Pour it into a plastic bowl. Add the sodium chloride and stir with the iron spoon. Add the sodium chloride and stir with the iron spoon. Add the citric acid and stir. Add the citric acid and stir. Add the hydrogen peroxide and stir. The iron spoon that you are using for stirring will dissolve. Some part of it will dissolve and that dissolved part of the iron spoon is going to act as a catalyst to speed up the reaction. Then the next thing is place the reaction mixture in an open space outside your apartment and watch what happens watch the reaction Okay, now when the reaction has stopped, pour the bleached palm oil into a large amount of water in a bowl and stir. Stir and pour it into an improvised funnel, as I'm going to show you. 
stir and pour it into an improvised funnel. Then run out the water part of the reaction mixture. See that the oil will separate. The oil will float on the water. So run out the water. Pour the oil again into a large amount of water. Stir again. And then pour it into the improvised funnel. Separate the water part. Okay. The oil will float on the water. So run out the water that stays below the oil. Run it out. Okay. Okay. Now repeat this process for up to four times in order to remove uh, the unreacted sodium chloride or citric acid or hydrogen peroxide that might be left in the oil then pour it into a container for use so you can use this oil for frying okay and for making of soap if you are a soap maker all right